What's good, everybody? It's Mr. 1950. Man, we got another one for you today. Man, this guy right here, man. You know what? I'm going to get right into it. I'm just going to say this, man. This is why a lot of men lose. Gentlemen, we got to start winning. And this is not the mindset of a winner. So I'm going to play this. It's some guy who have not had sex in over three years, and he's terrified. Let's play it. All righty. We know what this is. Kendra G show. Let's play it. All right. What was your last relationship, Roderick? Was it your child's mom? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, four years ago. Well, about three and a half. You had sex for three and a half years. Mm. Yeah. So tell me, are you on a celibacy journey? No, it's just um, if you're it, you're it. If you're not, you're not. I mean, there's a lot of things that's scaring me nowadays. Y'all women are, t- some women, not y'all. You ain't Hi. no player. Read my lips. You ain't no player. Oh, my God. See, when you, when you have a man that has deficiencies, and he doesn't want to fix those deficiencies. What he does is he places blame on women. He places blame on women. He can't say, you know what, it's me. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, I don't love myself enough. You know, I, I don't, I'm not the guy. This is why women don't fuck with you. It's not that you don't fuck with women. Women don't fuck with you. Let's listen up. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for saying all. Or y'all, but it's definitely that uh, it, it's some things are terrifying to me as an individual. So, and that's what that's a high. What, what scares you about women? High numbers, high numbers, high soul co- compatibilities. So I know this is what happens when you listen to so many men who complain about women. And what happened with women in their past. Like there's no way to prove. What a woman has done in her past. She can either tell you the truth or she lying. You don't know. And a lot of these men are now afraid. Of women. Based upon. Him believing. That he knows. What a woman was doing. Not how she treats you. Not how she responds to your leadership. Not how thoughtful she is. Now how how feminine she is. Now how she acts when she's around you. None of that matters. It is matters about how many dicks she had. Keep on watching. It's just it's it's terrifying to me. Terrifying for you to be with a woman that's been with a lot of men, maybe. Yeah, that's that's scary, actually. It's the mentality they gather after all that is just terrifying on top of, you know, the spoilage. But it's just. Now let me say this, Broderick, because you do have two children by two different women. I do. So what would you say? Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. It's amazing. It's amazing that he can judge a woman. But be in a position like this. It is fucking amazing to me. Shit is hilarious. Listen up. To that woman that might say, you got soul ties. So you already have children by multiple women. How would you feel if someone looked at you in that manner? I wouldn't want to compare it. But at the same time, only because only because um, I'm. I'm on the male side of things. I'm not taking anything inside of me. Only that's just I. I personally feel that's a big difference. And um, tell it's, me how. It's, uh, I love this. So how is it a big difference? Uh, it's 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 just that um, you're you're taking like off rip. Women have periods. They literally cleanse themselves every single month in order for their body to uh, adjust to different types of bacteria that possibly may be getting inside of themselves. They're always open to the world. It don't matter what is going on. So when you're inviting individuals to take their part. 
This nigga is a scientist. This nigga is a scientist. He has all these philosophies with no bitches. How you have all these philosophies, but you have no motherfucking bitches? You have all this knowledge about women, but you have no bitches, bro. I, I am totally fucking lost. These type woke niggas, fuck, they fuck me up. Inside of you, for whatever reason, it takes its toll, whether if it's pH, whether if it's... Um, whether if it's the commitment, the, the mentality, the heartbreak, all those different things take a toll on a woman as their emotions are always inside. The man, rather, it doesn't take that big. It doesn't honestly it really don't. But to have them to have a man with that mentality, it's a whole different story. So is it I, I it's it's just um like um like if you're wearing a dress if a woman wears a dress all the time and uh, she always allow herself to breathe always happy always and not it's just something about that that can we admit this nigga is not he's not getting no bitches <laughs> this nigga is not getting no bitches and the only reason I'm saying it like this is because we know gentlemen we know we can tell you you can tell just the way he's speaking he's never been one of them he's never been the guy so what does he do oh let's make up all these reasons let's talk about these bitches it ain't me it ain't because I ain't lined up and freshly cut or you know I'm out here swagging or I'm the guy you're not that it's not the reason. The reason is because you're bacteria. <laughs> that feeling that that woman have down there that just that when it's free of this dysfunction and and um, it, it's just it's just lovely. And uh, some women just don't know what that feeling is. Some they like they they just got so deep into their hole that it's just like what. What was I? What what is it? What what it, what was what 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 it was like when I was at least c close to a virgin? You know, what oh was it? What my was the, god! What was the what was the taste? What was the texture? What was the all that takes part? And if you don't know how to oh, cleanse and oh, know how to oh, take oh, care of, oh, even though you oh do your god. thing after, it holds its faultiness, and it's going to continue that way until you know how to cleanse it. Men, we don't have that problem. I'm sorry. So let me jump in. I I, I, I wanted I wanted you to. I, I was curious because I wanted to hear your viewpoint of it. I have to respectfully disagree, um, and I have to respectfully disagree because at the end of the day, you are a man with two baby mamas, and if there's a woman yes. who is if, if there's a woman who is pure and has no kids. You will not be the man that she's seeking for because the way you just oh that's absolutely her, fine. I, when, I you talk, when you talk, I listen. And I did that on for oh, yes, of course. Now you have to listen as I talk. So if you're a mm -hmm. woman who is unscathed, who does not have baby daddies running around, you're not going to be her guy of choice because you're not like her. You're not as pure as her. You have two baby mamas. You actually have a four-year-old. You have a child under the age of five. So you have the right to look at women in the way that you describe, but you should get a mirror and look at yourself in the same way. Whether you know it or course, not, there are course. women who are what you consider to be pure will look at you in the same manner and say, I don't want to align my life with a man that had two kids by two different women that he did not marry. So as you're judging other women, just know you're in that same pool with them. -wee. So let me just say this, man. His argument is is not incorrect if he had foundation behind it. He doesn't have a leg to stand on. If he was a virgin and he said, "You know what? I'm looking for a virgin because I want a virgin because this is why I say my," then he can look, man. Look, more power to you, brother. More power to you. Yeah, you know I mean, but you can't be out here with no game, with no Mac, and then you thinking that is something wrong with these women when it's clearly something wrong with this man. You 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 can tell from the way he speaks, he's a have not. He's a, he's in that club, the have not club, and then he's just upset. And this is why he's mad. 
This is why he's mad. So, gentlemen, what did we learn today? What we learned today, stay in your lane. Be the best man you can be, and that woman will pull up, and she will she will be great in your presence because you're the guy. You're the leader. You're the one. I promise you. This is Mr. 1950. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Even if you disagree with the video, hit the like button. This is Mr. 1950. Subscribe to the channel. We coming. We out. Peace.